Welcome to The Real Board Loft. Yeah. I'm Trip Foreman. Today we got real team rider Ryan Leopold with us and we want to talk about the Maurice Cole Reverse V Diamond Twin. So for those of you that remember, we've got a great uh, collaboration on the Reverse Vs going with Maurice Cole. And uh, together with Maurice, we've released the Twin Pin, the Diamond Twin, the Alpha Twin, the shorty, the double D, the step up, and the gun all under this reverse V uh, cone of awesomeness. And uh, we're here to talk with Ryan today about the reverse V diamond twin, which came right after the twin pin. Twin pin went ballistic. Everybody was just at, falling in love with it. You had one of those as well, right? I did. And uh, we then wanted to make a, uh, everybody's like, whoa, this is now becoming like a substantial part of the quiver. And so we wanted to make a uh, step down uh, that would complement the twin pin and something that would be a little bit better in flatter face waves, a little bit better open faced, you know, turning and ripping. And uh, so that's where the uh, diamond twin was born. So um, let's talk a little bit about Ryan. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about this board. And then we're going to jump into uh, your thoughts on it. So you're how tall and uh, how tall and how much do you weigh? Um, I'd say I'm five nine. Okay. Uh, One sixty five. Okay. -ish. All right. And um, you were and you were riding a twin pin, right? You or you still have a twin pin? I do, and I still love it. Okay. It works in all waves. It's amazing, uh, especially in small ones, obviously. And what are you riding for that? What size twin pin? Six nine. Okay, so foot over your head. Yep. All right. Yep. And then I mean, this thing is probably a little bit more liters than I would typically ride by a, by a good amount, three liters or so. Okay, compared to your short, board. okay. Yeah, and much more full in the nose, um, which I've said before, like on the humanoid kind of same deal, but even more full right. in the nose. Um, so. And what are the dimensions on this board, just so that people are watching, they know the dimensions? It's uh, 5'11", 19 and 5 eighths, two and nine sixteenths. So okay. it's got plenty, I mean, it's 32.4 liters is All like, right. you know. And short boards, you said, what are you normally riding, like 28? 28 ish. Okay. Yeah. All right. And even, maybe even smaller than that in the summer. Okay. Um, so, so let's jump into uh, small wave action on this thing first. Because I know you've been riding this thing as a better surf, but let's jump into like what it was intended for first. Right. So uh, let's talk about like kind of smaller waves compared to the twin pin. What, do, what did you feel? Um, it's, uh, you know, it's it's really similar as far as the speed that it generates okay. with the twin pin. I've noticed both of them really just get up and go down the line. There's you know it's uh they just fly. Something about especially with these fins, you know, which we'll probably get into later. Yep. Yep. Um, something I don't know. You know, this is like science that I don't really quite know about. All you know, totally. But um, something about the way the water flows through these channels and combined with these fins, I don't yeah. know what that does, but um. The things just fly, all of them that I've tried. So, I mean, they float right through little boggy sections. As you know, I live in VB, so you yep. know, there's a lot of that there. Virginia Beach, for those of you that don't know what that is. Um, so there's- it's not VD. <laughs> yeah, VB. Definitely not. <laughs> um, so floats right through little boggy sections. I mean, I would say most people would pick this up and ride it in smaller ways for the right, most part. Right, right. Lately, I've been, enjoying it in all waves like I you know I've kind of maybe gone outside the box of what you really should ride it in okay um but I've been having so I can't put it down I mean I've been having so much fun on it that uh I just when the waves are good I just want to be on this you know so I feel like I just that's what I go with and it's been working so uh you know I really uh have been enjoying it and it's a funny little uh transition back into a regular shortboard I feel like I don't have quite as much speed, but I can turn really fast. So I feel like it's made my, it's made me kind of like slow down my brain as far as uh -huh. interpreting how waves should be ridden and stuff like that. So I feel like it's, uh, it's really helped me. I can still do quick shortboard turns on it, but it's really helped me kind of slow my surfing down and kind of read waves differently. Okay, smooth so it been, and maybe yeah. smooth it out too. Yeah, yeah. So I hop back on a shortboard and I'm just like ah, and I'm like whoa. Right. It's almost like too fast. I'm like this thing's kind of helped me slow down and process what's happening on a wave. So it's pretty cool to, uh, to hop on something like this. So you mentioned the uh, speed, you know, like, and, and just like, you know, how, how much speed the board has, how much it can generate, you know, those sort of things. And, and I think, uh, uh, you know, that's something that a lot of people are, are gravitating towards, like with the twin pin. And, 
and with this board and, and also with that alpha twin with the bigger one you know that just came out yep. and uh you know that is coming from you know there's a lot of straightness in the outline like that generates speed um the twin you know any twin fin like you know the twin fins generate speed but they also then they don't have as much drag you know so there's right. you just don't have the drag of that center fin or the right. drag of two quad trailers I didn't even uh, think yeah they're just they're way faster the channels give you a lot more drive and it's cool because those channels like I and in my in all of these boards like with the channels those three models like I haven't re really ever found them to slow the board down like there there was like a little bit of a hesitancy on channels people thought like oh it's only for like J Bay or or like pumping waves you know but right. even like on this board or the Alpha Twin in really small surf um, they still help like like they help with the drive yeah like off the tail yeah you know? yeah I can see that it makes sense it's uh. It really is cool, and I never thought, you know, like, if you asked me five years ago I, if I would be riding something like this, I would say no way. Right. You know, it's just a little bit, it's a little out of my realm, but then, I mean, now it's just like I can't get off of it. Like I said, it's just, uh, yeah, it just rides so good. and gives me a little bit extra paddle, too, you know. It doesn't hurt as we get older, you know, mm -hmm. just to, to have a little bit of extra underneath you. And as, whereas, like, when I was a Grom, I was going like always against that, like, give me the chippiest, smallest board you can get yeah. yeah 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 and uh now it's like after riding these things it's just like it's just been uh, an amazing treat to uh ride waves a little differently right it's right cool. so let's take a look at those fins you mentioned the fins uh those are the nvs maurice cole reverse v twin fins it's a lot of words but that's what they are right so nvs naked viking surf nvs maurice cole reverse v twin fins and these fins were actually developed for for the twin fin boards like for this board the twin pin and the alpha twin because initially when we started riding uh the twin pins we were riding them with uh, futures ens and uh which are awesome for drive but they ended up actually being a little bit too big for what you needed they worked and okay. it, it wasn't like a negative thing other than you know potentially you could loosen it up and potentially go faster if you had less fin, like less drag. But the uh, the outline of the board and the channels created like so much hold that we found out that we didn't need as much fin as we initially thought, right? right. And so these fins are a little bit less area than the ENs, and they're also scalloped out like with these bat wings back here. They're scalloped out like where the EN would just come like pretty much solid the whole way. They're taking area out there, so you still have the base, you still got some depth but then like kind of loosening it up through like taking that area out. And the other thing right. that makes these things so fast is um, their G10, which is a, uh, a compressed material with more layers of fiberglass, like per inch of thickness okay. than standard fins. And when you build them under compression and with more layers, you can build them thinner and not, um, not have them be fragile they actually so you can for so the same strength you could build them thinner okay and thinner through the water is faster that makes a lot of sense yeah they're just why. like they're more slippery as they go through I, the water i can feel that which is crazy that uh i mean i didn't know that little tidbit about how you know how they're made and stuff i can feel that when i ride it and i thought maybe it was just like the combination of the channels and just how good this board's made but um mm -hmm. it's like a it's like you know, and like if you there was a NASA rocket, uh huh, and it would like make, with a turbo, it would bust straight through the atmosphere and not make any noise. It just like it's like not even there. It's just like so thin. Would there be a boom like later, like the next day? Probably. Just like all of a sudden, in the middle of the day, like shaking the building. That's what would happen. Something like that. Yes, exactly. So uh, sizing of this thing. So you went. It looks like if you were at six nine, you went like ten inches smaller. Right, five eleven, six nine, ten yep. inches smaller. Yep, almost. Yeah. Yeah. So general rule of thumb on this board is uh, six inches smaller. But your your twin pin is pretty big, for like you know for your weight and everything. <clears throat> for sure. Yeah. yeah. So you yep. went a little bit, little bit shorter than that. But generally, as a rule of thumb, like you have a twin pin that you like, you want to like at least get this thing six inches smaller. You can get it smaller than that because they're all like over foamed a little bit for mm -hmm. like yeah compared to what people ride in short boards. Yeah. You know where did you find this thing to work? Like what was the bottom 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 of the range? that you found it working well in as far as like surf, like size wise? Um, like smallest? Yeah. Uh, I mean, 
you could, I mean, you can pretty much as small as it gets. I, I will step it up to the twin pin usually if it gets like below knee high. Um, okay, just for the length of the board. If you have, you know, if you're fortunate like me and you have access to a lot of these boards, um, you can, you know, like knee high or less, I'd step it up to the twin pin or even the alpha twin. Yep. Um, okay. So, yeah, I would say like, I mean, but you could go as low as knee high easily on this thing and it's still got plenty of float for me. Plenty of float and, yeah. and the ability to make speed. Yeah. And, the, and that's soft definitely. stuff. Definitely. Yep. And then what about uh, on the top end? Because that's actually what, I mean, knowing what we made it for and then seeing what you're actually surfing it in on the top end, right. you know, where, where's, the t where's the red line? Uh, I mean, shoot, you could go. You could really, if you had, if you know, if you had enough cojones, you could go as big as you wanted, really. Okay. Um, I think it would start to slide out a little bit. Like maybe the twin pin with the more pulled in tail would be a yep. better option once it got a little bigger, like, like 10 to 12 ish, eight, but six to eight foot solid. It's would, still holding. It would hold all day. Right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of, it does have the wider front. So like maybe you would want to step it down a little bit to a shortboard if you, if you got into too slabby of waves. Yep, um, yep. But I mean, I haven't really run into it nose diving or anything yet. As far yeah. as I mean, I've been. I mean, the stuff that we've had out here, they've been riding it, and I mean, it's been bending. It's been it's it's bending like this way, yeah. this way, yeah. this way. It's yeah. like sucking out below yeah. sand. There's a lot of curve in there, yeah. and it's still going. Yep. You know? yep, still holding in there. So just like a shortboard. So yeah, and turns too. I mean, you can have so much speed on an overhead wave and just hit the wall just like you would with a thruster. Okay. Yeah. So one of the things um, I think even you know. This whole collaboration with Maurice is, I think we're like two plus years into it now. And, and there's still some people kind of freaked out about twin fin. Like, you know, be, uh, everybody's always had a twin fin in the past in the rear view right. that, um, that was awesome on flat face waves. But whenever you got it into like any juice, like it was always slidey and drifty and like not all that confident. Like right. what, what do you find like with, the, with this board and the channels and the fin? Like how do you find the hold and like the confidence in the board? Yeah, it... Uh... It was pretty, I mean, I was thinking like, oh, you know, I was thinking I might have a little bit of trouble with that, honestly, like, okay, it might slide out of my turns a little bit, or like when the wave gets too steep, like I said, it might, you know, bog a little bit, but I haven't really run into that just yet. It's been, um, it's flown through every little, every mm -hmm. little turn, and, and even when it's like choppy, you know, it can be a lot of times, you know, something like this can kind of hit those little bumps and chops in the wave, but... It hasn't really. It's flown right through it. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, in really all conditions, it's really just a good all around, especially summertime. I mean, right. like I can't, hurricane swells are going to be, this thing is just going to be like those yeah. big souths where it's just like roping rights. Yeah. And maybe even like kind of breaking away from the beach a little bit, yeah. like kind of soft, but like kind of going, yep. like kind of breaking out to sea, but like going, like this will be the one over yeah. the, over the twin pin for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think so. That's great. Well, that, yeah, I mean, that's what I found as well. I mean, just like the, the confidence on these things and the hold is like way beyond like any other twin fin I've surfed. Like, I, I mean, right now, I think a lot of the twin fins are catching up, but, you know, comparing it to anything in the past, you know, and I think that's right. where people have the hang up. They're like, oh, well, I'm not really a twin fin. Like you hear it like, oh, I'm not a twin fin guy, you know, because they had one yep. bad one like 10 years ago yeah. or something. Yeah. Um, but these, I haven't found these. I, in, in a lot of ways, I found them to be more confident because of the channels and and yeah. like where the fins are placed they're so far back yep. that they just have crazy um confidence and and hold it really does when yeah. you think that it there's no way it's um yeah. you know no way it's gonna hold and then the last thing is you know let's just i mean the last thing which really should have been the first thing is just talking about the bottom shape like that reverse v bottom shape like yeah. i i found that to like be really helpful in uh like in late drops and like where you're kind of like falling at all weird angles and all like awkward and yeah and it, it just connects and goes it does it still kind of trips me out how it how it works i'm like i've noticed that i can be i don't have to be as forward footed like i can kind of like whereas on a short board i would more so i would maybe be like up here yeah on this thing it's just like my feet don't have to be that far forward i can just kind of like knife straight into the barrel and it's and it doesn't really where I thought it might dig a little, that that all that meat in the front really doesn't. It's okay. like something something about with the way. I mean, maybe like you said, maybe because the fins are so far back. Like I don't know what it is. It just like holds in there. Right, yeah, right. It's just it's really crazy, and it's and it's so much foam. Like I said too. So I really like. Be I don't even know that I'm necessarily in earlier. I just uh, I like the way it paddles. It yeah. paddles for me so well. Like trying to chase peaks up and down the beach and kind of be mobile um i like to kind of you know paddle around a lot and yeah. try to find waves so um 
Yeah, it's just worked amazing for me. Like I said, I can't, I mean, you can kind of see the wax has been like uh -huh. used a lot. It's used, dude. It's yeah, used for, dude. Like, yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> I can't get off of it. I really can't. And I'm, and I'm, I'm just like everybody else with, I'm a diehard shortboard guy, thruster, polyester. You know, I don't mm -hmm. really like stray away from that too often. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, this thing's just been magic. I can't get off of it. That's awesome. And I have plenty of boards to ride. I just. That's the one. Yeah. It just works for me right now. So that's the one. That's feels awesome. Feels good. Go with it. You know. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for spending the time and like kind of sharing uh, you know sharing your feedback on the board. It's sure. always super helpful. Yeah. And uh, for any of you out there that have any more questions about the Maurice Cole Reverse V Diamond Twin or want to place an order for one, either stock from the Real Board Loft or we can write up a custom as well, like any size, any color, any any of that stuff. You can always give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.